How's it going, everybody? Thanks for checking out Exile State Comics, doing a new comic book day haul for December 7th. So this will be all the books I picked up uh, that came out today, plus uh, a couple others that kind of, well, one ties in with what I picked up today, the other is just a random other issue. Um, but definitely thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Uh, so I'll go through the books, like I said, and then I'll go over the comments from last week's new comic book day haul, or new comic haul. Um... <laughs> and uh, see what everybody said in there. So make sure you leave a comment, and then I'll go over it in next week's uh, new comic haul. That's how easy that is. Super easy. So, all right. Um, also, everybody, check out JLS Comics. Uh, last night we just did our season finale, kind of like, ho well, I don't want to say season finale, but like holiday kind of finale. Like, we ended it, and going to wait till after, um, going to go on hiatus until after the new year, I think. So, uh, But that, that went up last night. That was a lot of fun. Um, it was almost like two hours of us just going through a whole bunch of different topics. So, uh, definitely a fun show. And kind of our, like, predictions. Not really predictions, but what we enjoyed in collecting, like, 2016. What we're looking forward to in 2017. Things like that. So, it was a lot of fun. Alright, so let's go over through what I got. I got to go over and through. Over and through. I got a cool Monsters Unleashed um, checklist card. So, Monsters Unleashed number one. Spider-Man Deadpool number one dot MU. Avengers number one dot mu. So they just go all gonna be like one shots, other than Monsters Unleashed because that one's going to five. It looks like, and then we're getting a just a whole bunch of like all new X Men number one dot mu. So I don't know. It could be okay. We got Spider Man and Deadpool on this one. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Comic shop news. John Carter. The end. So I guess like he's going to end, stop being on Mars or something. And then we got one on the inside, which this looks really cool, actually. And then another, I got two. Four kids walking to a bank and Champions Monsters Unleashed. So, all right, a lot of extra paper. Sweet. Okay, so we'll go through DC first. First is Death of Hawkman, issue number three. So we're halfway through now, uh, or gonna be once I read this one, uh, this uh, story. Adam Strange and, um, you know, kind of Hawkman as they go through the planet after it's been basically decimated. So some crazy stuff going on there. But gonna kind of see how, gonna kind of, I want to see how Hawkman dies, really. Because I'm sure they'll just bring him back shortly. Maybe there'll be a Rebirth Hawkman book. Maybe he has to die. They're telling us the story of his death so he can have the Rebirth book, maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. Alright, next. Superman, issue number 12. That's pretty, uh... It's a pretty crazy cover, isn't it? Pretty crazy cover. So, this is, uh... Super Monster, part 1. Let's see, let's show you something. It's Frankenstein, who I haven't seen him since, what was I reading? Oh God, was that what, uh, Bat Future's End? He was in Future's End, I think? I don't know. Alright, Batman number 12. Now, I've already kind of read a spoiler that goes into this one um, about Batman and Catwoman kind of talking. And Batman revealing something about his past that we didn't know before, but... So I kind of spoiled this one a little bit for myself already, but this is um, this looks great. This looks great. Michael Jane. All right. So good looking Batman book there. All right, and the last DC book I picked up this week. See, I'm cutting it down. I've only got like four DC books this week. I could have got a couple more. I didn't. Uh, Green Arrow issue number twelve. Staying on Green Arrow. And Otto Schmidt's back. Otto Schmidt's back. Dun, dun, dun. So, let's find you something good here in Green Arrow. This is a good, long, big page. So. Super excited to read this one now that Otto Schmidt is back on it. And I know um, somebody had told me in the comments last week what was going to be happening with that and him moving around on books and what story arc he was doing. So. Okay, next from Image, 
Picked up uh, The Wicked and the Divine. This is issue 24. Uh, this is uh, the B cover. What does it say? I wanted everything you had. For 70. Nice. So, cool cover here. Show you that again. And I'm kind of just jumping back into this. I, I don't know if I picked up 23. Can't remember if I did or not. It seems like it's been a while since one of these came out. But I just wanted to see where it was and what's going on. Maybe show you something here in a second. No clue. No clue. But, as always, Karen Gillen's still on this one. Of course. Uh, <laughs> uh, so we'll kind of see where this one goes. Alright, and image number one I picked up this week is Motor Crush. Motor Crush. And so we have our heroine here who is a motorcycle racer during the day. And at night... She is part of, like, these gang wars and stuff where they, I guess, fight over this drug. This, like, uh, I don't know. Think of it as, like, Super NOS or something like that for your car, I guess. But I think it's called Crush. So, just gonna kind of check this one out. Gonna kind of, gonna kind of. Apparently, I'm gonna kind of a lot. Alright, and then I picked up this. Serenity. What is this one? Uh, no Power in the Verse. This is issue number two. And I picked this up because over the weekend I found this. And this is the Fried Pie variant of this of this uh, series. This is issue one of No Power in the Verse from Serenity. And, you know, I like Firefly, so I figured I'd give this one a try. We'll see. I'm sure it's a, sh I'm sure it's a mini-series. Or something. <laughs> um, oh, one more DC book I picked up the, uh, at the same time. Was I picked up this variant of All Star Batman issue number one, uh, just because I thought it looked really cool. That was pretty much it. I was like, "Ooh, I don't have that one, so I'll get it." All right, now we're going through Marvel. We got some big Marvel books this week. I'll just start off with the one I'm most excited for: uh, Unworthy Thor issue number two. Awesome cover here with Thor and Beta Ray Bill. Yeah, I'm pumped about this book. Jason Aaron doing a good job, man. Let's see what goes on. Beta Ray Bill. So awesome. Yep. So super pumped to see where this book goes. I know it's a mini series, um, but just really excited to see how they're gonna like roll Odinson into getting the ultimate hammer or the hammer from the ultimate universe, uh, and see what happens then. So, but awesome that they included uh, Beta Ray Bill in this story. I just think that's awesome. Uh, I know some people are like, ah, oh, he's a horse guy, but go back and read, like, his origin and stuff, and you'll be like, alright, Beta Ray Bill's a cool guy. Alright, next, I picked up the number one from Marvel, uh, just to kind of see where this was. I like this character, uh, or I like Nova, and in this one we're going to get Richard Ryder back and Sam Alexander, so, I, you know, just wanted to see what the heck was going on in this one. Maybe the art isn't what I wanted. For a Nova book. Hmm. Hold on, I'll show you something. I will find something to show you, maybe. I don't know. Ooh. I almost dropped it. So, I mean, it's alright. But. I'm just not, like, overly amazed with it. But I'll give it a read and see how the story goes. Alright, two more. Spider-Man 2099, issue number 18, as it also continues to fall. Man, they are pushing these Marvel Legends on the back here, like every book. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Spider-Man 2099, number 18. Oh, look who we got. We got the whole team together. So, see how that one's going. Um, I'm still ready for him to go back to the original... Spider-Man 2099 suit, which you may not, maybe that's just me. The new one's nice and good, but sooner or later, you gotta put the old one back on, right? Alright, and last but not least from this week, it's Clone Conspiracy, Dead No More, Clone Conspiracy, issue number three. So, we will see where this one's going. Kane. That's like, I mean, over here. This one. That Spider-Man suit is really cool. I like the Scarlet Spider-Man suit. So, Scarlet Spider. 
Yeah. That. All right. So comments from last week. That was all the books. First up, Rez Reads. What's up, Rez? Thanks for commenting, everybody. Or everybody, definitely go check out Rez's channel if you haven't already subscribed over there. She's really cool. She does live shows like all the time. Seems like every every couple days, she's got like a really cool live show talking about comics that you you know. If you're just a big two collector, she's going to show you some comics that you may not know about. So if everybody check her out. She said, "Cool haul, Justin. Can't wait. Re can't wait to read AD After Death book." Uh, or my AD After Death. I'm I am quite ex excited to see the size and feel of it. Oh, are you? <laughs> it does have a good texture and it is quite large. We'll just leave it at that. All right. The comic book villain says, "What's up, comic book villain?" Says, "Cool haul, cool haul as always, Justin." And yeah, it's just, it was just a small week. It was last week. It was a small week. This week kind of felt small to me, too. Um, new books, I realistically only got like mm, 12, 11 or 12. Um, so, I don't know, it felt small. And I, I could have gone with fewer books, but I decided to get a couple that I wouldn't, that I was kind of on the fence about this week. All right. It says, let's see. Hey there is hey here's another indie book i want to toss out there for out there did you or anyone else pick up fisheye if so did you think about it no lmk thanks later comic villain fisheye who published that i'll have to look it up because that doesn't that doesn't ring a bell i have to check that out blackpole what's up blackpole blackpole says yes fifth wednesday so only nine books on my pool this week all right that is awesome uh, my pocketbook thanks you, Fifth Week Wednesday. <laughs> fifth Wednesday? Yeah. Um, let's see. I'm not normally a big fan of annuals, but the Batman annual was actually really, really good. I agree that it was good. I really enjoyed it. Like I said, you got like two or three stories. There are three stories that I actually wish were full issues. Great Hall was always, brother. Happy reading. Thanks a lot, man. Everybody check out Black Bowl. He's doing like shows and stuff now, too. Everybody's doing all this kind of crazy stuff. It's amazing. It's awesome. Everybody talking about comics. Keep comics going. Make comics great. <laughs> we just talk about them more. All right. Next, we got ETH. EHTX1. Dude, you posted over in the, um, in the chat, so I really appreciate you uh, posting over here and commenting, man. I appreciate that. He said, awesome haul, Justin. Like your picks from Image Comics. Really into 7 to Eternity. Uh, getting Going to get Green Valley next. Awesome. Yes, 7 to Eternity is amazing. Um, I'm just loving that. Uh, are you picking up Reborn? So let me know if you're picking up Reborn what you kind of think about that one also, if you are. Um, and then, yeah, Green Valley. That's been better than I expected it to be. So pretty cool. Holger Peterson. What is up, Holger? Hoger said, my favorite books from New Comic Book Day, 1130. So that was last week, everybody. Were Superman Annual number 1, Thunderbolts number 7, Extraordinary X-Men number 16, Suicide, blah, Suicide Squad 7, and... Uh, had a, Okay, he just said, Suicide Squad 7 had amazing art by Jim Lee, but only 12 pages, and I wish me... They were, I wish there were a better writer. Ghost Rider number 1, I cannot recommend. Perhaps issue two gets better. Old Man Logan fourteen was a huge disappointment. New art not half as good as before. Man, all right. So Holger was not happy with Suicide Squad number seven. wasn't that enthused about Ghost Rider number one. And Old Man Logan number fourteen was a huge disappointment. Which and and see that was the first Old Man Logan I've picked up in a while. And that probably wasn't the best issue for me to jump back in on because I was like, this doesn't seem amazing like everybody's been talking about. So. But it was all right. So I'm with you, Holger. Good, good pickups there, buddy. All right, Romero Gomez. What is up? Thanks for posting. He says, "Great comic call. I picked up Valiant Savage number one as as well. Looks and seems like a great read. Yeah, like I said, just um, you know, it's a it's a first issue, so you kind of get what do we get? Yeah, first seven pages have almost no words whatsoever, um, other than to just kind of explain where you're at." But no, like, character going off or anything like that. So that was, that was you know, kind of different. And then it kind of goes into the backstory. So, pretty good book. Definitely looking forward to issue two to see where it kind of goes. Um, let's see. Also goes on to say, the new Ghost Rider number one came out. Picked it up. What you think and why didn't you grab that? Happy hunting. I'm just not a huge Ghost Rider fan. 
Um, you think I would be because I, I am a huge car fan, and Ghost Rider has a car. But for whatever reason, especially when they when it first came out, the series before Secret Wars two, um, or the you know 2015 Secret Wars, whatever you want to call it, that it just didn't. For whatever reason, I just didn't jump on it. So, and I haven't really heard anybody say it was amazing. So let me know if you thought it was amazing, or if you think it's worth picking up. You know, for the new one that you just got, if you, if you think it's worth picking up, let me know, and I'll go back and pick it up. You know, give it a read, see if, see what I thought think about it. So, that's how easy it is. Next, JLS Comics. What's up, Jesse? Thanks for posting. He says, uh, "Nice haul." So I went to my shop today, get my books, and I picked up Savage. And I pick up Savage. Okay. Uh, uh, all they have were a couple variants left. I got one that is a cool design type cover. With, and it was the last one. Oh, nice. Oh, okay, I saw it. It was the sketch. Um, if you check out JLS's, um, JLS Comics Instagram page, I think he put the picture up over there. Pretty sure. I think. So, all right. That's all the comments. That's all the comics that I picked up this week. So thanks for sticking with me here and going through all this stuff. I really appreciate it, everybody. Like, subscribe, do that fun stuff. Like I said, leave a comment, and then I will go over it next week. And we can talk about it and see what you thought about books that you're reading, what you're excited about, things like that. So, yeah, what was the what was your favorite book that came out this week by the time you read this or what you're going to pick up? Or what are you most excited to get? For me, this week, the most, the biggest book I was looking forward to was definitely Unworthy Thor, issue number two. So once I click the in this, I'm going to go ahead and dig in and read that book because I'm super pumped about it. Oh, yeah. Here's a little preview for everybody who stuck around at the end. What's this? What if the mighty Thor battled Conan the Barbarian? Great story. Way better than I thought. Not in good shape. The book itself. Got it for cheap. Going to try to find a better one. Um, so, All right, everybody. That's it. I really appreciate you watching. Hang with me. Uh, just keep reading comics and enjoy what you're reading. You know, If you're not sure what to pick up, let me know. Maybe I can help you. Have a good one.